Oh my gosh. When she was little, she loved science. I can remember one summer, she went around and pulled every kind of leaf she could find and categorized them in a book. And I mean, that was her summer fun thing. She was always very sciencey. She was very academic. Both her brothers played sports and stuff, and she could have cared less. It took me a while to realize that her studying for a test was like the boys practicing for a sport. It really was. Well, I would say he was always a precocious child, so he wasn't afraid to put himself out there. He was just very, he's just busy. Would you say? Yeah, I think it's busy is a good word for it. <laughs> they met at TLU, and Andrew was there playing soccer on a soccer scholarship, and Kelly had an academic scholarship, and they met in, I think, biochemistry, or, or organic chemistry, one of those two. I first met Kelly in 2009 when she came to my younger sister's soccer game and we immediately bonded over small furry white dogs, makeup, shoes, all things girly, and immediately we became soul sisters. Less than five years later, Kelly mentioned a guy in her science class, as Andrew would say, interorganic chemistry. <laughs> um, I don't remember the first time I met Andrew, but I do know, like, the first time I was like, okay, she like likes this guy. He's like, Andrew's family that's from Wisconsin, Packer fans. That's when I knew I liked him. I knew Kelly liked him when she asked me if I had any Packers clothes that she could wear. Or she like sent me a picture of her wearing little cheese head earrings. That, yeah. Cute. When Kelly first introduced Andrew to me, I was relieved because I could see how much he truly loved her. Not only was I relieved, but I could see why she was naturally drawn to him. Not only is he a handsome man, but he has an incredibly wonderful heart of gold and is so kind. I've known Andrew for his entire life. He was very protective of her from the first time that I met her. It went from two eyes, I guess you could say, to a we. And when I started noticing it was a we, I thought, well, this is very interesting. So that was when I kind of had a clue, yeah. Yeah, you could tell they had something special and that they, uh, they were very thoughtful of each other, you know. I think that's, a, that's an understatement. I mean, they, they always worked well together also. You, you can see that when one was thinking about something, the other would pick up on it, you know. And they, they had a good relationship from, I think when we first, yeah, uh -huh. when we first knew him. Andrew and Kelly have come to make their marriage vows in the presence of God and of this assembly. You stand here in front of us as a young man and a young woman who have fallen in love. It's time to dance and sing. Rejoice, drink wine or champagne and celebrate. And it's also the time to remember to love, to love each other, to love one another, and to know that God is in this love all along. Here at the party, tomorrow as you start your new life together, and as you abide with each other for the rest of your lives. Amen. Kelly and Andrew, I invite you to declare your vows to one another. So, Andrew, in the presence of God in this community, in the presence of God in this community, I, Andrew, take you, Kelly, I, Andrew, take you, Kelly, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to have and to hold for this day forward, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and in sorrow, in plenty and in want, in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the presence of God in this community, 
in the presence of God in this community. I, Kelly, take you, Andrew. I, Kelly, take you, Andrew. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Andrew, Andrew, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign, as a sign of my love and faithfulness. My love and faithfulness. Kelly, Kelly, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Faithfulness. Andrew and Kelly, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Thanks be to God. Congregation, I now introduce you to Kelly and Andrew Welsh, and they may share a sign of peace with one another in the form of a kiss. <laughs> Kelly from doing your makeup for prom, to watching you have your makeup done here today for your wedding. I've seen you transform from a beautiful teen girl into a stunning woman. You're so beautiful, both inside and out, and have a heart bigger than Texas. Andrew, just as Kelly wowed you with her lab reports and organic chemistry, you have equally wowed us here today just by the way you look at Kelly. All of us here in this room love you just for the way you love her. Organic chemistry may have brought you together, but as all of us can see here today, your natural love and chemistry will keep you together forever. So I would like all of us to raise our glasses to the happy couple. May you have a lifetime full of happiness. I love you both. Cheers.